This is Jordan Tarrant with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, as we know, you know, King Von passed today, and that's very sad. And again, condolences to everybody. Uh, a couple more people reacted to him passing. We'll put that in with this news. Uh, you know, Meek Mill said, we praise the trenches. We like we didn't lose most of our dudes in it. Uh, he also, you know, he put up a RIP on his uh, Instagram. And Drake put up, uh, you know, condolences right here officially put up a you know a bird for you know going to heaven and then reese money <sighs> it's just sad man you know so young uh and then 600 breezy put this up okay and he's talking about 4kt and he said you know i got problems we're gonna we're, you know we're gonna go at them right and they responded and, you know, they were getting real disrespectful in there and, you know, talking about King Von and him and everything. And it was just, you know, when is this going to stop? Right. Like, you know, you just keep keep it going, you know, 4TK. What is it? 4KTK. That's what it is. And these, you know, I don't know, man. Uh, it's very weird. Anyways, we'll uh, that, that that that's that. And then, oh, yeah, also. Guess who? Guess who else reacted? Well, Twenty One Savage reacted. That, that's a good one. You know, he was sad that they didn't get to do more work together, and you know, they were. I think they were actually friends. So that's sad. And you know, we saw it. So Little Dirk reacted, and of course, underneath Little Dirk's reaction came Takashi. Okay, because they had a little problem. Takashi laughs at Little Dirk finding out about the incident on his live that was put out. Uh, he, his whole face changed as you know, and he, when people were telling him what happened on his live, then he gets even more disrespectful uh, under Little Dirk's condolences. You know, he says uh, that was my twin, and said I love you, bro, and then. Takashi says, Nooski now and you still, what is it? Nooski now, Vaughn, and you still rapping. Go pick up a weapon. Wow. I mean, come on. Someone just passed. I mean, this is too disrespectful, honestly. Uh, this was not the time to chime in on anything. But Takashi had been very quiet ever since everything happened uh, when he sold 55000 claiming to sell one fifty, And then uh, I think his... Label mate Trippy Red just sold sixty one thousand, but he doesn't hype up his sales. It is what it is, you know. Uh, that was a bad move. The trolls are losing this year, I guess. Uh, then we got so Regine Carter, which is Little Wayne's da uh, daughter. She says everyone owes an apology after hearing the press conference. Uh, and you supported Trump in any way, you should give us a public apology right now. And I'm like, hmm. And she said, whatever my mom said, uh, that's that's what it is. But your dad met with him. So are you demanding an apology from your father? I don't know. You know, it's just, that's a little, everything's so public. It's like, you're making it public, a family. If this is a family issue, you should probably remain private. Um, DMX tells a story about how he got addicted to substances. Uh, a guy in his neighborhood that he really looked up to, and this is where he started rapping, uh, actually tricked him into doing it. Uh, he laced, so, you know, what they were, you know, puffing on at the moment, and he laced it. He said he didn't even do any of that kind of stuff. He was 14. But a mentor of his, Ready Ron, tricked him into smoking the white girl. And then... Uh, he said that mess that that birthed a monster, and he started crying. And I don't blame him. That's emotional. I mean, that's that's crazy. So, watch that interview. It was very very spooky. Uh, you know, DMX is a very emotional person, very into his emotions, and this is what makes him such a great rapper. Um, Future's in a little bit of trouble because when he was in court with Eliza Rain, he claims he lives in a two bed two bath home in Atlanta. And doesn't own any jewelry when it's obvious he has a mansion <laughs> and he has plenty of jewelry. And that's going to be, this is the same type of 
thing that happened with uh, Adrian Broner recently. You can't you can't tell lies to the court. You're gonna get in trouble. So unfortunately, uh, we'll have to see what happens there. But uh, anyways, that's all I got for you. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. I appreciate you guys so much. Hit that like button. Peace.